Hi friends, I'm Manzoor Siddiqui, SQL Server DBA. Today we are going to discuss about uh, SQL Server recovery models, simple recovery model, full recovery model, and bulk logged recovery model. So recovery model plays very important role when it comes to data recovery or to minimize data loss. You need excellent understanding of your business requirements and importance of data. Uh, depending on scenarios, you have to decide whether you have to select simple, full or bulk logged recovery model. Recovery model plays important role to decide uh, recovery strategies. Uh, for example, in banking operations, you can't take risk to lose any transaction and each record is very important. Okay, so in SQL Server, there are three types of recovery models. First is simple recovery model, next is full recovery model, third is bulk logged recovery model. So how to check which recovery model is set for your database? Okay, so I'll switch to my SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, you can select name recovery model description from sys.databases. Okay, I'll just comment this part when name equal to database name. Okay, so you can select from sys.database, execute. Now you can see uh, this is database name and your recovery model. So for example, if you want to see particular database recovery model, then you can uh, give database name and select it. So currently my uh, database inventory is set to bulk logged recovery model. Okay. And I want to set this uh, database to simple recovery model. So I'll uh, use alter database database name set recovery simple I'll select it and execute now I'll select from sys.databases and now my database is simple recovery model inventory database okay so simple recovery model you will not be able to do log backups as it automatically uh, truncates log so it minimizes admin works and saves log space but there are some risks also if database is damaged or data has lost then you won't be able to recover it if you don't have backups you can recover only the point where you have already taken backup simple recovery model truncates log after checkpoint when checkpoint occurs SQL Server truncates log before the VLF which contains the minimum LSN value so you will not be able to perform operations in, uh, in simple recovery model like log shipping, database mirroring, always on feature, point in time, restore or data recovery, etc. in simple recovery model. You can use simple recovery model when data is not so important and you do not need point in time recovery and when you can take risk to lose some data because your business requirement is different and when you can manage if data is corrupted or damaged and you are comfortable losing data uh, during the point between last backup and current uh, failure point and uh, you don't want to uh, backup and restore transaction log and you can manage uh, with full backup and differential backup okay so in this scenario you can use simple recovery model so we have already seen how to uh, set simple recovery model now in full recovery model uh, Full recovery model is by default set when you install SQL Server. If you will create new database, then recovery model will be set according to model database. Model is a system database, okay, which is uh, like it it's, uh, acts like a uh, template. So in full recovery model, all transaction logs are uh, retained till the time of backup. In this recovery model, you can uh, recover the database till the point of failure if tail of the log is backed up. You can use full recovery model when you need a point in time uh, data recovery and when uh, data is very important and you cannot lose any data and when you want to use advanced features like log shipping, mirroring, always on etc. So how to set a uh, full recovery model? So you can alter database, database name, set recovery, full. Okay, now I'll uh, select it and execute it. Now I'll check sys.database where database name equal to inventory. Now this recovery model is set to full. Now next uh, recovery model is bulk logged. Uh, you can use bulk logged recovery model when you are running very large operations or bulk operations. This uh, recovery model reduces the transaction logging requirements 
for bulk operations. You can switch temporarily a database to bulk log recovery model when you are running bulk import or you are performing indexing operations or uh, like performing index operations on very large uh, tables or index operations etc. Uh, it will increase performance using uh, this recovery model rather than using full recovery model where each transactions are logged. So this recovery model also retains transaction log records until they are backed up. Uh, kindly note that point in time recovery is not supported in bulk logged. So how to set bulk logged recovery model? Syntax is same, alter database, database name, set recovery, bulk underscore logged. So I'll execute it. Now I will check from sys.database says now my inventory database is set to bulk log recovery model. Okay. You need alter permission on database to view or change recovery models. Okay. And uh, from SQL Server Management Studio, you can also uh, change recovery model. Okay. You can go to your database, right click on database, go to properties, then click on options. Now you can see your recovery model is right now bulk logged. I'll select full and click on OK. So my recovery model is, I'll check again from sys.database, execute, now it is full. Okay, so uh, if you like my video, you can subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. Okay, and you can visit to my uh, website sqlserverlog.com and uh, you can subscribe to newsletter, join me on Facebook or subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you have any query you can uh, send to me okay thank you